waging war on corruption. Alex Jones on the GCM Radio Network. Big Brother. Mainstream media. Government cover-ups. You want answers? Well, so does he. He's Alex Jones on the GCN Radio Network. And now, live from Austin, Texas, Alex Jones. We have huge Ebola news breaking at the start of the next segment. And your phone calls, a little bit of extra time with Shooter Jennings. ShooterJennings.com. His new album, which is amazing. I've only heard part of it. Uh, on vinyl and for download comes out tomorrow. He's got some of the songs up there free right now on the website shooterjennings.com. We're going to tweet that out in a few minutes on Real Alex Jones as well on Twitter. But Shooter, in the five minutes we've got left, uh, you were getting into Bitcoin. I've never been against Bitcoin. I just underestimated the power of the people to defeat all the government attacks and propaganda, and so now it's a, such a protest movement that, that even though they've driven it down a few times, it keeps going back up, that obviously, I guess, if the mainstream's been forced to use it, that InfoWarsStore.com will start using it. We're just going with the most standard, safe way to use it. That'll be in the next week or two, but a very exciting. Yeah, BitPay and Coinbase both offer a really cool way to do it. We accept them through our store, on our label, our little label and stuff, but, um, like, you know, I, what it is, man, is it's like the guy, the guys who created it, that you can embed a message in the in, in a transaction. And the first transaction that was ever made said it was the headline of the uh, Washington Post, I think, and it said uh, big banks approved second, or uh, it said uh, government approves second bailout for big banks. And it was like it was like a it was like an it was like a, a, a reaction to the corruption that was happening at that time, uh, right around 2009. And I think it's grown now into something that's like a bacteria and people cannot, they can't fight it they, because it's, it's community driven. It is, it is open source. It is um, completely transparent and, and there's really no way for, for the government. They can go in and try and buy as much of it as they want, but all they're going to do is just drive the activity up and drive the transactions up. And, and then it's like, it's the first time something decentralized. You don't need a third party. You don't need like a PayPal. I don't, you know, I can send you money and it's verified via the mining network. It's pretty, fa pretty fascinating. It just, people got to wrap their heads around it. And after they do, I think they'll get it. Sure. And, and I was able to wrap my head around it. That's how the globalists have gotten all the power. They control a fiat currency, but only they control it. This cryptocurrency, the idea is beautiful. I was just worried about the providence. But as you said, the first message was clearly a protest against the big mega banks in money transfers, not just bailouts, but direct taxes to them, just like Obamacare is a direct tax to the insurance companies. And the Supreme Court even ruled that. Um, they say invention uh, is basically created by necessity, that, 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 that necessity is the mother of invention. And we need to survive. We're being crushed by this system. We need to create alternatives and work together. And I think that's the message of this broadcast here. And I think your music and your record label is a big part of that. And the political messages of, of liberty that you've put into them is uh, just another example of what will turn the tide. Man, I really appreciate it, Alex. I can't t tell you how much it means that you have me on and, and support the music. And they've got a, I got another one coming a lot like the Summer Rage stuff that's going to be coming hopefully next year. So I can't wait for you to hear it, man. Well, buddy, we, I'm going to be listening to this record as soon as it comes out tomorrow. I'm going to download it. we got about a minute left. Other points you think are important to make? Man, I just think it's important that people do the research themselves with all of this, like with music. Dig, you know, find bands. Right now, it's a hard time, a hard place. You can't trust what they're shoveling down your throat. And I think, I think people are on the right. You know, as long as they're listening to you right now, I don't have to tell them anything. <laughs> you know what yeah, I mean? but we can all be reminded, and myself included. Don't just go listen to stuff you were listening to when you were 15 years old. You know, go out and find the new stuff. And I just find incredible stuff out there. But you've got to dig. Yeah, you do. You do have to dig. But there are good sources out there and, and, and shows like yours and, and some stuff that's on satellite. Uh, you know, I, I do a radio show. A lot of different great artists do radio shows. So I think if people stay up with it, the tide is turning. It's just really Oh, it is. New music, independent music is really supplanting the old rotting order because establishment music just gets worse and worse. It's not like they've got Led Zeppelin or, or Metallica coming up. Yeah. I mean, it is some really bad stuff. All right, ShooterJennings.com. Shooter. Jennings .com. Shooter. 
I love you because you're a straight shooter. We'll talk to you soon, buddy. I love you. Thank you so much, Alex. All right, you're awesome. Hopefully yeah, get on coast to coast. That'll really promote your stuff. All right, we'll be back. On Ebola, you tell Kit Daniels, it, it, it refreshes late on my computer for some reason. If that article's out, red link it. Please bring it to me as soon as it's done. Uh, we don't have this news ready yet for folks. But uh, look at this Paul Watson article. Agroterrorism, feds shut down seed library in Pennsylvania. Now that Monsanto has completely taken over the FDA board, they have shut it down. They're going into private seed banks that have heirloom seeds and shutting them down because Big Agra has done things like gone out and bought up all the heirloom seeds so they can destroy them. And then they go out and claim that, oh, now you don't own this. It's patented, even though you purchased it and own it. It's like saying, you know, they patented a Volkswagen from 1970 or a 1977 or whatever, Super Beetle, whatever it is. And so you own one so they can take it. This is just turning into total Twilight Zone. Again, just, just, just ask Kit, j j just let me know, has that gone up yet? Because that's all I want to know. It's up. It's up. It's up. It's up. Just print it for me because whatever this computer does, it does not refresh like the other computers in the office. I need it. I want to print it off, red link it. I'll tell folks what it is after we take calls here. Uh, let's go to Paul in California. Thanks for holding. Go ahead. You're on the air. Yeah, um, I'm in California, and I just like to say that I think that a lot of what's going on is to entertain us and get us off of the cure. They are putting crisis after crisis, and we need to concentrate on getting rid of our leadership. And the easiest way to do that, I believe, is the Occupy stuff. If the people of the United States really knew what the Fed and Wall Street was doing, our problem would be solved. I think they put a lot of effort against the Occupy movement, and impeachment would happen easily if that was followed through on. Well, caller, that's a very sophisticated point you bring up. I mean, you, you say it simply, and, and, and you sound like an eloquent, intelligent per person, and, and I respect what you say, and I tend to agree with you at one level. The Occupy movement was a projection of mainstream media, because I was here covering it day by day, that people are bad at Wall Street, they're going to take action, they want socialism, they want to crush the banks, and communism will save us. Now, the people that showed up didn't really believe that in most cases, it was a very diverse group. And it was mainly a way to then project onto any anti-corruption in Wall Street movement that you're a bunch of communists. Like, like the globalist brand rebellion in Latin America or Asia always is communist. Because they don't want it to be legitimate, you know, nationalism like Putin's doing. That really freaks them out. They don't want it to be something that's hard for them to demonize. They, they want it to be their failed, corrupt, evil ideology that they've already used to overthrow country after country. Because it failed for the people, it succeeded for the globalists to knock countries out, keep them out of competition, and only have a few top thugs the robber barons have to deal with, like Joseph Stalin or Mao Zedong. So I watched that happen, and I watched terrible things done to Occupy. And when Occupy wouldn't be taken over by Obama, and wouldn't be taken over and turned into a George Soros army, when, when Al Gore said we need an Arab Spring in America, then they had a 36-city SWAT team raid out of Nazi Germany on these peaceful people showing federal control with 36-city police departments under their 